What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to fix the black screen of death on the PlayStation 3. Let's get right into this. So just like the videos in the past where I shared how to fix the blue light of death for the PlayStation 4, today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 3 and what to do if your PlayStation 3 is not displaying on the screen. It is actually called the black screen of death and there is some ways that you can fix it. Of course, if the easy fixes do not work, there is going to be bigger things and more expensive options that you can do to get your PS3 working once again. So like always for these videos, we're going to start off with the cheapest and easiest things that you can do yourself even if you are not tech savvy. So the first thing and the easiest thing to do is to try replacing either the AV cord or HDMI cord, whichever one you use for the PlayStation 3. Now of course if that does not work, it's not the end of the world, there is other options that you can do and other things that you can try to get your PS3 to work once again. Now the next step is you're going to have to go into the safe mode for the PlayStation 3. For this you would simply press and hold the power button on the PlayStation 3 you will hear a beep, in a couple seconds you'll hear a second beep, and then after that you will hear two or three rapid beeps. After the rapid beeps, you can take your finger off the power button and on the screen it should start displaying the safe mode. So the first thing you're going to do is connect a controller to your PS3 with the controller cable and then you're going to press the PS button on the controller. Once that is done, you are going to be in the safe mode on the PlayStation 3 and see a bunch of different options. The first thing, the easiest thing to do first is to try to restore the database. This is going to fix hopefully the black screen of death within the console. So you're going to select that, you're going to let it do its thing, which might take a couple minutes or a couple hours, depending on how much you have saved on your PS3, and let it run its course. If that doesn't work, you're going to want to go back into safe mode. So you're going to turn off your PS3 and do the steps I just shared you to get into safe mode. And then you're going to want to select the bottom option, which is to basically check to see if it is updated. So if your PS3 is connected to internet, usually it should be able to access and check to see if it is updated. If not, it will update it. If it is not, you're you're going to want to go on to the PlayStation website, get the update, save it to a flash drive, and then put it in the PS3 and choose that option and it will take it from the flash drive to the PS3 and update it that way. So now unfortunately, if those three options did not work, changing the HDMI cable or AV cable, restoring the database, or checking to see if your PS3 is up to date, then there may be a bigger problem with your PlayStation 3 that needs to be addressed. The first thing that you can try while in safe mode is you can factory reset your PS3 to see if that will work and fix the problem. If that doesn't work, chances are the hard drive and the PS3 is faulty, you will have to remove and replace the hard drive and try to see if your PS3 will work once again. If you have the black screen of death, I would check everything that I mentioned in this video first before resorting to purchasing the new hard drive, purchasing a new PS3, or trying to change any of the ports in the back of the PS3. I hope this has helped you fix the black screen of death for the PS3. I know this console is well over 10 years old, but people are still playing the PS3, especially me as a collector, and I know this is a problem that people are now experiencing, and I want to look into it and share this video for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.